Alright guys, in this video I want to show the difference between the email and how it looks in the Evo and how it looks in the Epic. So, let's jump into it. Under the Evo, it'll be under Mail. On the Epic, it'll be under Email. And the first thing you'll notice is when you open them up, on the Epic, if you have multiple accounts, it will go straight to showing you your different accounts. And you will also notice that each account is associated with a different color. This is helpful for the combined inbox because when you click on the combined inbox and you're scrolling through, for example in this spot here, I have two different colors. That's helpful for me because I know exactly which email is coming from which account. And so that's helpful for a person that has a lot of different emails that wants to look at their combined inbox and they can instantly know, I know this email came from here because it has this color. So that's a very nice feature that uh, TouchWiz has that uh, HTC doesn't. Let's get back over here. If you have multiple accounts, you have to click the arrow here, and then you have to select which one you want to look at. So that's the difference between that, whereas the Epic is just one click, the Evo is two clicks. And then also, if you will notice that the Evo doesn't have a combined inbox, so you have to select which email you want to look at. Whereas on the Epic, you can look at all your emails at one time. So that's a nice feature. Let's go into the emails a little more. If you look here at the top, you can scroll over, and basically what this is is you can look at your drafts, your outbox, your sent, if you have different labels, such as how. Uh, Gmail creates the travel label. You can click under it and look at all your emails associated with that. So that's that's a pretty nice feature there. Down here on the Evo, when you scroll across, it gives you the option of conversations. So that groups all your uh, emails that you've been responding with one person under one, which is nice because it doesn't clutter your email box. You have uh, you can see which ones you get from your favorites. There's in your contact list or your favorites on your phone, on uh, red messages, and messages with attachments. So I really like the feature that it has. You can see which mails have emails have attachments. If you're looking for an attachment that you need, that's a very nice feature. Go straight to your unread messages. That's pretty nice, and your conversations. That's a, another nice feature. So. Whereas I do like the Epic combined email, they don't have threaded messaging. So, for example, here, have a, a few different emails with this person, and it's going to show each time. Where, as on the Evo, it'll show all under one, as long as you click on conversation. So, but also, you don't have to, you can, if you like, if you want those people that like to see each email, you have the option too. So. HTC gives you options, whereas the Epic really doesn't. Also, let's just click Menu just to see what comes up. And you can see the differences between the two um, as far as what comes up when you press Menu. You know, when you press More here, it gives you account settings and get into your settings and things like that. Accounts takes you back to your account page. And so you have those options there. Another thing I want to show on the Epic that is nice is multiple email management. So if you can click, you, they have little arrows. When you click them, they light up green. And down here at the bottom, it has marked on red, add star, or delete. And add the star basically makes them like your favorite email, put them in a favorite category. And so that's basically the difference between those two. Whereas with the Evo, I haven't found a way to uh, multi-delete or mark on red mini messages at once. This is sorting by most recent date, highest priority, lowest priority, things like that. But it doesn't have a uh, multiple email management like the Epic does as far as from what I've saw, seen. Let's get back into the mail icon. So, that's uh, another feature that I like on the Epic versus the Evo. So, in quick hindsight, 
I like the Epic's email. I like it. It looks. It's a more clean design layout. I like the combined inbox. I like the color saturated. It's each email. I like the multiple um, managing of emails. On the Evo, I like the conversation tab. I like the unread, and I like looking at emails just with attachments. So those are the two differences I like between each of them. Also, with the Evo, which is really, really nice, is the widget that they have for it. And this is an HTC widget. And they give you three different, three different types. You can look at a single email. You can look at a list of emails that has who the person's from with the subject. Or you can get it with the person's name, subject, date and time, and a few uh, sentences of what's actually in the email. And you just select, you select which email account you want it from. You, you won't be able to do both because it doesn't do combined email, unfortunately. But, you know, if you have one email that's more important than the other, you can click one and you just swipe through the different emails. And clicking that will take you back to your list. This is to compose a new message. This is to reply directly back to the message. And then you can just trash the message. This email will be deleted. So those are the two differences between the emails. I like both for different reasons, but if I had to choose one over the other, me personally, I would have to lean a little more to the Evo side just because of the widget and the fact that it gives you the option for looking threaded message threaded email messages and looking at messages that just have attachments because sometimes you're looking for an email with attachment and it's just nice to go have that all under one but I really do like how the epic looks as far as stylistic wise I really like their combined inbox and I really like their management of editing different emails as far as marking them unread or deleting them all at one time. So it's really just a personal thing. I would say if you're one of those people that have a lot of emails and like to look at them all at one time, you're going to want to go with the Epic because you're not going to be able to do that with the Evo. Not on the stock mail option anyway. If you really want, if you really like the fact of uh, looking at your emails under each different email account you have and you really like the fact of having a widget to look at your emails you're going to want to go with the Evo. So it's basically between those two. Do you really want to have the combined inbox or do you like the widgets and looking at all your attachments on the emails or looking at all your threaded email messages. It's just a matter of preference. So make sure you check back for future videos between these two phones and make sure you subscribe.